Hello everyone, welcome to Mastering Math and thank you for watching. This video series has been designed and developed by the Elsa Miguel Learning Center Scholars in the Faculty of Engineering at Carleton University. My name is John O'Keefe and I'll be your host for this high school math review. I recently graduated from Carleton University with a Master's of Applied Science in Aerospace Engineering. In addition, I've worked in the LC Center for the past six years helping first year engineering students such as yourselves. This math review is intended to refresh your memory based on high school math topics that you'll be seeing throughout first year engineering courses. This is meant to be a supplemental resource, so it's not meant to replace any of your in-class learning activities. New students are expected to view this video series as well as read the accompanying PDF document in the link below, and then please revisit this as needed throughout the academic term. And with that, we'll get started. In this video, we're going to cover dot product. So dot product is the projection of one vector onto a second vector. In first year engineering, this is useful in the statics course of determining the projection of one force vector onto a second force vector. Or it's also useful in the dynamics course where you try and calculate the work done by a force. So we're going to start off with some new theory and then we're going to get into applications afterwards. So the theory, if we have one vector here, we call this vector A. And we're going to just draw this in 2D for now. And we have a second vector labeled B. The dot product is the projection of the first vector onto the second vector as shown like this. So the magnitude of this dot product value would be this length right here, where this is a dot b. Now if we want to describe this mathematically, we can write out the vector a. This is equal to your ax in the x direction, so i. Then we have plus ay in the j direction, so the y direction. And then az k, so that's in the z direction. And then we write out this for the vector B as well. And we're describing this in 3D. You can also uh, apply the same methodology in 2D as well. So this is BXI plus BY in the J direction. And then plus BZ in the K direction. Now if we want to evaluate what the dot product is, this would be a dot b is equivalent to we take the x component of your vector a and we multiply that by over that so we want the x x component so a sub x and we multiply that by the x component of our vector b so b sub x and now we repeat this for our, uh, our y component so this is plus a y times b y and then we have plus az multiplied by bz. So one important fact out of this is your dot product produces a scalar value. It doesn't produce a vector quantity. So you always will only be left with one single scalar value. So this is one way we can calculate the dot product. A second way would be using the magnitudes of these vectors. So if we take the magnitude of this vector a as the absolute value of a, and then we take the magnitude of your vector b as the absolute value of vector b, and then the angle between these two vectors, we name that as theta, we can now calculate what the dot product is using the magnitudes as well as the angle theta. So this can be described as a dot b, is equal to the magnitude of your vector a multiplied by your magnitude of your vector b multiplied by cosine of your angle. And that's mostly all the theory that I have for you. Now if we get into a couple examples here and showing you actually how to apply these. So for example one, we have a vector c C is equivalent to 5i plus j minus 3k. And then our vector f 
is equivalent to negative 2i minus 4j and then minus k. And now we want to compute what the dot product is between c and f. So c dot f is equivalent to we have 5 multiplied by negative 2 then plus j so this would be plus 1 and then multiply by negative 4 and we have negative 3 so plus negative 3 multiply by negative 1 and this gives us c dot f is equivalent to 9 sorry negative 11 So a second example we can get into. We have a vector a is equal to 2i plus j plus 4k. And our second vector is b, which is equal to 3i minus j plus k and we want to determine what the angle between these two vectors are so we can compute the dot product as we did earlier and then we can relate this to the angle through our second expression of the dot product so we can calculate what the magnitudes of a and b are through Pythagorean's theorem and then we can calculate what the cosine of the angle is from there Starting off with the dot product, we have a dot b is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. Then we have plus 1 multiplied by negative 1. And then we have plus 4 multiplied by 1. And we can evaluate what this is. This is equal to 9. Now we can evaluate what the magnitude of our vector a is. This is equal to the Pythagorean theorem of this 3D vector. So this is 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared. And this gives us a magnitude equal to 4.58. And now to determine the magnitude of our vector b, we apply the same principle. So we have 3 squared plus negative 1 squared and then plus 1 squared and this gives us a magnitude equal to 5.10 and now we have the expression a dot b is equal to the magnitude of a multiplied by the magnitude of b times cosine theta so now substituting our expressions in, we have 9, 4.58, and 5.10. 9 is equal to 4.58 multiplied by 5.10. And then we're solving for theta. And we get theta is equal to 67.3 degrees. That does us for our examples, our math examples. Now getting into our applications. So our first application is for the statics course. So that is ECOR 1045. So we want to determine what the projection of this 800 pound vector is on top of this 500 pound vector. So this 800 pounds, this is what's, um, it's giving that as your magnitude. So I'm going to say this is the magnitude of A is equal to 800 pounds. And then our second vector is, I'm going to call it B, and that's giving our vector B is equal to 500 pounds. And then the final piece we need for this, if we, if we calculate the dot product using the magnitudes and the angle, um, we just need the angle between these two vectors. And then using, using your trig, um, we get our theta is equivalent to 85 degrees. 
So now evaluating what the projection of our 800 pound vector onto our 500 pound vector is. So this is a dot b is equal to, we have 800 multiplied by 500 multiplied by cosine of 85. And we get a value of 34,862 pounds. And that would be our projection of our two forces. So now a second example we have is determining the work done by a force. So this is for dynamics, uh, which is E core 1048. So in this problem, it gives you a magnitude of this force vector F. So F, that, magnitude of F is equivalent to 300 newtons. So you're pulling this block at a force of 300 newtons. And then you're pulling it over a certain distance. And this distance is 15 meters. So magnitude of our vector D is equal to 15 meters. Now we can calculate what the work done by the force is as work is equal to the force times your distance with a dot product in between of them. So we can calculate this out using the magnitudes as well as this angle theta. So this is going to be 300 multiplied by 15 multiplied by the cosine of the angle, which is 30 degrees. This gives us a work equal to 3,897 Newton meters. And that's going to do it for dot product today. Thanks everyone for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact the Elsa Miguel Learning Center at emlc at carlton.ca. Thanks everyone.